Time now for Around Town. Hey, Anna. Good morning. The Day of the Dead is not till the beginning of November, but it's an entire couple of months celebration here at the National Museum of Mexican Art. This is their amazing exhibition. It's open right now. It, this is the 35th edition. You weren't even born, Mario, and now you're working here. <laughs> this is Mario Hernandez. Good morning. Good morning, Anna. Tell Thank me a little me. bit of how you would describe this year's exhibition. Absolutely. This year's exhibition is dedicated to all of those people who have uh, passed away from COVID mm -hmm. since the beginning of 2020. Um, the exhibition, like every year, features artists from both sides of the border. Uh, and it talks a little bit about the history of the Dia de los Muertos, but also shows you a more contemporary twist on some of the themes that we associate with Day of the Dead. And contemporary themes also what some people would consider controversial themes. You guys tackle it all. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you give a blank slate to the artists? Do you commission these for this exhibition itself? Or how does it work? You no, know, so when the artists are invited, you know, we want to give them the artistic liberty to uh -huh. express whatever it is that they want to do in their artwork, right? Mm -hmm. And so often we see themes uh, that might represent more uh, underrepresented communities, yes. underrepresented voices. For example, this piece with Moisa Salazar, uh, who the artist uh, claims are made for los tíos que nunca se casaron, ¿verdad? En la oh. familia. Uh, the piece, uh, obviously, is really beautiful. It's filled with glitter. There's a yeah. lot of texture in the background. Um, and it's not exactly something you're going to find in right. a cementerio during the Day of the Dead, right? right? But it still includes a lot of the emotions. Same thing with this installation, which is very modern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this beautiful installation was made by uh, Amalia Mesa Baines. It's mm -hmm. in honor of her family and the contributions of Mexicanos to Chicago. Her family, like many other Mexican families, uh, settled in the south side of Chicago. And oh. it includes uh, pictures from her family and pieces from some of the newspapers that her family contributed to. I want to end um, on this quilt because this is a community member that Absolutely. is being honored here. And as we talk about this piece, also tell me about the festival which is taking place. Yeah, definitely. So this piece was made by Karina Yepes. Karina Yepes made this in honor of a, a friend's grandmother who passed away. It's a really special piece because it's made out of textile and it has also uh, a whole lot of texture, something you really got to see in person. Yeah. Um, and it was made during the pandemic, during a time where we couldn't be with each other uh, when somebody passed away right we couldn't have a traditional memorial right. and so this is a really special way of embodying the day of the dead and what it truly stands for the exhibition is here until december but you have a festival coming up on the 30th of september yes october 30th from 3 to 8 p.m we're going to be 30th, celebrating I'm sorry. No, october. Uh, mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's a saturday and mm -hmm. we're going to be celebrating the day of the dead we're inviting community members like every year to create ofrendas or mm -hmm. altars uh, outside during the event the registration for that will open on Monday uh, on our website. And I think no matter your culture, this would be a beautiful way to honor those that have passed by remembering what they loved when they were alive and honoring their memory. That is the Day of the Day exhibition in the National Museum of Mexican Art. Back to you.